The temperature controller can be programmed to reach a desired temperature or for temperature profiling. The controller automatically determines the best settings for optimal heating based on the thermal response of a system. It features two K-type thermocouple inputs and one 24 volt heater output, allowing regular or cascade operation. This video manual is meant to be used as a supplement with the written instructions provided with your temperature controller. You will receive the following items with your temperature controller. A power cord, a thermocouple bridge, a fuse pack, and a USB to RS-485 adapter with a USB cable and a CD with device drivers. Note that the correct fuses that correspond with your purchased accessory are installed into your temperature controller. Also note to not remove or replace any fuses unless the power switch is off and the power cord is disconnected. Plug the 9-pin serial connector from the RS-485 adapter into the COM connector on the back of the temperature controller. Connect the black power cord into the temperature controller as shown. Connect the black heater plug from the accessory into the black socket in the front of the temperature controller as shown. Next, plug the thermocouple or the sample thermocouple into the TC1 connector on the temperature controller. If the accessory has only one thermocouple, as in this case, plug the bridge, the yellow connector supplied in the original fuse pack, to TC2 for single loop control. Next, turn on the heater switch, followed by the power switch keeping an eye on the lower display. If the lower display shows the temperature, press the down arrow until the temperature is at or below room temperature. The following image shows an example setup with the temperature controller connected to the Herrick High Temperature Reaction Chamber for the Praying Mantis. All temperature controllers are tested at our facility prior to shipment. If the temperature controller was ordered with the Herrick accessory, the temperature controller was set up auto-tuned and heated with that accessory. In most cases, this should be sufficient for operation and is only necessary to adjust the set point to begin operation. However, the settings of the controller can be optimized for your particular experiment by auto-tuning. Open the EasyZone Configurator software and select Configure a device while communicating with it. Select the necessary COM port and your device should connect as shown. Select Next. From the Operations menu, Scroll down to Control Loop and select Control Loop 1. In this case, we will set the set point for auto tuning to 100 degrees C and select Yes. When the controller finishes auto tuning, the auto tune will automatically correct to auto tune No and then set the set point back to 0 degrees C to allow the cell to cool. Note that during auto tuning, the display will flash between the home display and tune 1 divided by ATTN. Once auto tuning is finished, the cell can be heated by setting the set point to the desired temperature, in this case 100 degrees C. Note that to heat the cell, set the set point to the desired temperature. Note that the up and down arrows on the keypad can also be used to change the temperature. Also note to leave the heater switch on during operation. If this switch is turned off, turn the power off, turn the heater back on, and then turn the power back on to restore a reasonable set of operating parameters.